Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, here today in the Bible Bistro, we're going to study Psalm 81. Psalm 81 is 16 verses long. We're going to take it a little at a time. Throughout the entire week, we'll finish up on Friday with with verses 14 through 16. Today, we're looking at verses 1, 2, and 3. This psalm is another of Asaph's, so we're still in that section of Asaph's psalms. This one is to the choir master, upon the Gatith of Asaph. Now, upon the Gatith, don't know really what that means. Could mean could have reference to the wine press, to the city of Gath. It could be a song for the Feast of Booths. I was thinking as I was preparing the uh, lesson for today that since the the word Gath has relationship to a wine press, perhaps this tune follows the rhythm. There must have been a sound, perhaps, of the wine press as it worked round and round in the trough, crushing the the grapes or the you know the olives berries. It could have been that too. In that press, perhaps that there was a sound to it, or perhaps as the people worked to crush the grapes, they would sing a song or they would have a rhythm, you know, that they would follow as they did their work. Could be that something like that has created this tune, and it's being used here in Psalm 81. This is a very interesting psalm. It is divided into three sections, uh, verses 1 through 5. We're going to say 1 through 5 is all about the celebration of Passover or perhaps booths, tabernacles. And then verses 6 through 13, we have the Lord speaking directly to his people. And then 14, 15, and 16, we have sort of a, a duet between the Lord speaking and the psalmist speaking, and we'll get to that uh, at the end of the week. But we're set up here with the with the appearance of a celebration, a Passover celebration, a tabernacle celebration. This is something that we're you know rejoicing in. We'll see all that language as we go through here. And then the Lord comes in and speaks to us in the midst of Israel celebrating one of the appointed feast days. And so we'll see his voice and how he calls us to something deeper, to remember something significant. So we'll look at all that as we go through here. We're going to begin today with verses 1, 2, and 3. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed, on our solemn feast day. All right, so you'll notice there's a lot of music here in the first three verses, which makes sense because who's this writing this? It's Asaph, so he's the musician. So he's writing this. He says, sing there in verse 1, make a joyful noise. Who are you singing to? You're singing to God. You're making a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now, take a psalm, verse 2. Bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp, with the psaltery. So on one hand, you have the psalm, you have the songbook, and you get your psalm out. And on the other hand, you're bringing in the musical instruments, the timbrel, the harp, the psaltery. And then in verse 3, blow up the trumpet. (laughs) So they're blowing the trumpet at the new moon. So you've got timbrel, harp, psaltery, trumpet, in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. So this, no doubt, is a psalm that is being sung during some feast that they're having. Either it's the regular new moon celebration, or it is tabernacles, perhaps, or it's new moon plus uh, tabernacles, and maybe it's Passover. We'll see. that It might suggest Passover in uh, tomorrow's passage. So we have this celebration, lots of music, lots of celebrating, As we go forth here, this four-piece instrumentation with song, let us uh, go forward unto our God with praise. Join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verses 4 through 7 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.